Los Angeles. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. to know here about it's got that splitter and it's a pitch that swings and misses call fast and they come often very difficult to pick up out of his head okay all set to go and a pitch fastball for a strike and that's how we get started here in Los Angeles. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. That one just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets this one lifted in the air left field Hernandez settles underneath it hauls it in for the out let's take a look at the Padres lineup big challenge for them today as they take on a pitcher who brings electric stuff and really racks up the strikeouts yeah, and it's all about making good contact against a pitcher like this. You're not going to get very many pitches to hit in an at-bat, maybe even in a game. So you've got to be ready, zoned in to the spot where you think you've got the best chance and jump all over. It might be the first pitch in the at-bat, so you better walk up there ready from the jump. If they can make early, consistent contact, I think they'll have a much better shot against him. One down, base is empty. Off Whoa, the mark okay. there. And one and one. And that's outside. The 2 1. Inside just missed. Jerks in Profar. In the San Diego on deck circle. Righty delivers. Ball four. He walked in. And that keeps things going. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've Got seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. One down, runner at first. Now it's going to be Jerickson Profar. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Tatis runs. Come on and miss. Throw to second. Save. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. And that's outside. Now two balls and a strike. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Playable Betts makes the grab, and there's one away. Profar is out, and there's two down. That is cool. The third base now Machado up here when you talk about elite defensive third baseman this guy is at the top of the list stud when you look at players like this you play that hot corner got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat that's the kind of guy that every year you expect to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove if not a platinum glove next pitch is downstairs 
One ball, Two down, one go ahead, run in scoring position, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Swing and a miss. One and a count. One and two. Got him looking. That ends the frame. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here at Chavez Ravine, today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. What do we have on him? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Mookie Betts swings through it for strike one. Starts him off with the breaking ball, which isn't surprising. They're trying to keep him off balance, but he's been known to connect on the breaking stuff, too. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's in the dirt. Two strike. And he deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Way inside. Fouled off. He was late. One out. Base is empty. And two. Good late sink on that two fastball. Three. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And that one ripped to left. <laughs> Safely into second. He's got a double. He was all over that one. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on playing with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Trying to steal a first pitch strike with the breaking ball right there, but he was all over it in the box. Kind of sets up an interesting at bat the rest of the way. A little chess match here. In there at the knees, and the count is 0-2. Action in the pen down there. Jeremiah Estrada appears to be getting ready, and I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Morahol, the lefty, warming up as well. The winning run on second base. Foul ball still 0-2. And, and the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Out on the drop third strike, two gone. And an excellent job That's keeping good. it right there. The second baseman. And now it's Gavin Lux. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Ball one, no strike. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Backdoored him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Swung on, belted. Back there. Out of here. Walking. 
He circles the bases, and they will walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. Two-nothing, your final here in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris